What's up, everybody? Nostalgia Goggles 4-3 here. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. We are past the All-Star break, over halfway through season. And uh, tonight, we will be taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Second time this year. Um, first time, uh, we beat them by 35. And uh, tonight, uh, we're going to player lock on Trevor Ruffin, one of our players who's contributed quite a bit. He's still on the, the trading block for us, uh, just for realism's sake. Um, so we'll see how he does tonight. Go to the game. Color is still freaking out. There are so many things that I wish I understood why they happen this way about this game, about this stream, about Twitch, about my start button. So good. Oh, there we go. 15th time's a charm. Off to a great start tonight. That's when you're coming from the future, sometimes the technology just does not work. So, Stoudemire is still gonna start. Trevor Ruffin, I already told you, we're gonna player lock. Simmons. Oliver Miller, and AC Earl. We'd like to save Ruffin or anybody else on the team, really. It's not too late. Uh, trade deadline's not for a few more days. Um, so it's still time to become a patron. Vote in our poll. And if you do, 10% of what I make uh, from tonight and from most streams goes to the Retina Foundation of the Southwest. Uh, they're doing a lot of great stuff uh, trying to cure macular degeneration, among other things. Um, I've mentioned in the past my grandmother has macular degeneration. It's not pleasant. Um, it is one of the leading causes of blindness in the developed world. And right now there's no cure. There's not even really any treatment. Uh, they just try to uh, slow down the progression, but these guys are working for a cure. And I am hopeful that we'll find one in, in my lifetime, um, and you can help. Uh, there is a direct support link in my Twitch profile as well as in YouTube. Without further ado, let's have at this home game. Live from Canada, Toronto, Ontario, specifically. Supposed to most of our road games live from the United States, all but one of our road games, really. Cavs definitely in a rebuilding period. Uh, Brad Doherty is still on the roster for this game, but in reality, he retired uh, before the 95-96 season. Uh, Mark Price is also no longer with the team. We saw him when we played the Bullets back in the pre-Wizards days. And the crowd goes wild for their Toronto Raptors. Let's do this. What's up, this greatest? You rushed home from a dinner party for this. Well, thank you. I uh, rushed down here after hosting a dinner party, actually. Uh, so if I seem a little uh, cold, it's because I didn't get the heat on in time. Uh, better make it good. I shall do my best. How was your dinner party? Dinner was good. Had it with some family. Oh, good. Oh, what? What? Damon. No. We don't run back when we have the ball. Not the way we do things in Toronto. Eighteen seconds is still no score. 
Guess you gotta stay at 18 seconds longer. Look at that terrible hustle, indeed. I guess it was good hustle getting back on defense. Just a uh, bad uh, court awareness. I am thinking this is not the lineup for Young Master Ruffin. He's what, 0 for 5 at this point? That's bad news. <laughs> I may be shut out, it's true. We have not been shut out yet this season. Ugh. I don't know if you saw the motion, I was trying to pass it out. Ruffin does, however, have a bunch of blocked shots. All right, there we go. No shutout. This might just be an ugly game. Final score of 20 to 16. There we go, Miller. Not even Miller, that was AC Earl. Bench this lineup. Well, we're tied. Defense is going great. How is it only 4 to 2? It's a defensive battle. There we go. Rough and found a shot. Tell me the second you see this, or maybe another lag. All right. They haven't responded yet, so that doesn't bode well. But, yeah, I did say it the second it came up. And then I got an inbound violation because I typed that. Okay, so we're a little bit behind. Not too bad. And I am showing green now, whereas I was red earlier. And the skies have cleared. It is now a beautiful night in Toronto, Ontario. This may well be tenable. Okay, you're refreshed. How are we doing now? Did AC Earl just get a foul? One thing these Cavs are definitely not doing is getting back on defense. All right, good timing. That lineup was plus four. Twelve to sixteen, that is the score. Tony Massenberg. And Oliver Miller stays. Switches position. There we go. Murdoch, Ruffin, King, Massenburg, Miller. Whoa. That was a lot further away than I thought. Where is everybody? I don't know what kind of defensive set they're running, but it's not.
Like, I can do stuff like that. Time out, Cavs. Good call. Whoa! Little help. Thank you. Well, this appears to be my lineup. They're already plus six and only about a minute of play. What kind of run we expect. What is that last emoji there? Is that like two people clinking slushies together? <laughs> that was a mistake. All right, I thought it was because the calves were ice cold. Pride cheers. Interesting. So are there actually like rainbow colored drinks? Is that a thing or is that just like a internet conceit? Oh, the hot streak ends. <laughs> when you smash the mouse button for the emojis, when you go over one line, it shifts everything and you get unintended emojis. But hey, you know, sometimes unintended emojis uh, are the start of something special. I don't know if this was the time. So Pride Cheers is under Fail Fish. Huh. Well. Alrighty. Oof. Come on. Ugh. I think we went on an 8-0 run to start this lineup. Oh, good deed. Bobby Phils. When everything shifts by one line, when you're smashing like a madman, that's what results. It's actually happened enough that you try to be careful. Hey, you know what? We're all friends here at Nostalgia Goggles for three. We go with the intent of the emoji. Not what actually comes out. From way out. Rough and on pace to have a hundred by the whoa. You had some more time, buddy. Rough it on pace to hit 100 by the third quarter. Rather like that lineup. So, yeah, that was a plus 14. So we'll leave Murdoch. I do want to get my normal shooting guards in, so we'll start with Ellis, Pinkney, and Rogers. Want to get everybody some minutes. Murdoch, Ruffin, Ellis, Pinkney, Rogers. All right. This is a brand new lineup one we've never tried before.
up 18. Seems like a good time. Get that board, Pinkney. Uh. That's Pinkney, yes. Ugh. These short jumpers be the death of us. And the death of them. Thank you. There we go. Oh, Tyrone Hill. Come on, buddy. See, <laughs> you were careful that time. You were. Nothing against pride cheers, but we only have two official emoji here. It's true. Oof. So the Cavs actually have two players on their roster who were in the All-Star game that we played on Saturday. Uh, one uh, is the guy who just dunked on me at the other end, Dan Marley, his first season in Cleveland. Um, and the other was Tyrone Hill, number 32. Uh, speaking of Marley. Ugh. Should have just taken the points. Oh, well. Coming back a little bit. This lineup's at a minus two. And more importantly, Ruffin is way off pace for scoring. There we go. Oh, hey, easy. What do you think this is, a contact sport? No, Cleveland only has two blocks. I have ten. There we go. Oh. There we go. Good D, Rogers. That's how we do things in Toronto. Does not feel like a 22 point game. <laughs> Which way? Last three possessions have been something else, indeed. We have actually extended our lead. It was 18 when these guys came in. I think it's just that Cleveland cannot buy a bucket. But you can. That one's for you, Spitz the Greatest. Patron of our Buy a Bucket tier. Thank you for your support. We're now up 27, and we were up 18, so that's a plus 9. It's pretty good. Ellis. We'll put Stonemeyer back in, and Murray. <laughs> Remind you to go back and look at the last three minutes. 
because that was some terrible basketball. Well, uh, on behalf of all of us here in the Stout Chicago for three, I apologize that you left your dinner party early for some terrible basketball. Massenburg and Earl. So that does. Stoudemire, Ruffin, Murray, Massenburg, Earl. Terrible in a fun way. Well, that's good. All right, my icon arrow is flashing even on defense, which is weird, but doesn't mean I'm on fire. Whoa. There we go. Oh. Nice. Like five turnovers, four missed shots, missed rebounds. Just ugly. Indeed. How did I make that shot? Skills. Trevor Ruffin was, I believe, the most efficient scorer in the NBA in the 94-95 season. In very limited minutes, he was the 12th man on the Phoenix Suns. Um, got taken in the expansion draft. Um, did not sign with the Grizzlies because he was looking for playing time and didn't think he'd get it. Um, ended up uh, signing with the Sixers. Um, we had planned to offer him more playing time. Now, in order to balance some lineups, and also conveniently we were short a player in the Sixers trade due to keeping Pinckney around, um, it seemed like between that and trading for Muggsy Bogues, another point guard, it would make sense for Ruffin to want to be traded to Philadelphia. That happened. However, um, standard last-ditch rules apply. If he gets a triple-double tonight, he stays. Come on, Tony. How do we still have Tony? Well, it's the last week. Last week of Tony Massenberg. Oh, hey now, Michael Cage. <laughs> that. comes up and shows me for no reason oh come on nice one three point play just the other way around from how that's usually understood there we go oh he's out of gas not out of shot, but definitely out of turbo. So when we lost to the Blazers last week, I made the comment that we just never found our... <laughs> what? <laughs> what exactly happened there? Refs are on our side. Anyway, um, against the Blazers, we just couldn't find a lineup that worked. Um, so far tonight, we haven't really found a lineup that hasn't. It's not even halftime. We're up by what, 40? There we go. 39. We only won the entire game by 35 last time. Oh, no, oh, get that back. Nice. Oh, 
funky bounce. Great basketball. All right, so Trevor Ruffin, 67 points, 10 rebounds. No way he only got one block. Uh-uh. The record keepers just do not want him to have a triple-double. A by 40. Yeah, I mean, I think their, their field goal percentage just says it all. We have made twice as many shots as they have and 10 of ours were worth three points. Yeah, the defensive numbers too. Let's just add something else. Which Denver Nugget was the first player to play and start in all 82 games as a rookie? I'm gonna go with Chris Jackson or Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. That's my guess. 10% of anything I make tonight goes to the Retina Foundation of the Southwest. Please support them. They're doing great things to try to restore sight to the very old and very young. There's a direct support link in my Twitch profile or in the YouTube description if you're watching this from the future. And also a big thank you to our patrons, Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist, Spitz the Great, Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder. Thank you very much. You guys are the ones making this possible. Actually, while this is up, I wanted to continue a conversation from last night of a visual aid. I forgot to grab it. I'll be right back. Or not last night, actually. It was Saturday night. forgot about that. But uh, I actually do have a Steam controller. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, one of these in real life, but I thought it's a visual aid. It might help. So the front of it, there are a lot of a uh, lot of interesting things going on there. But the back is what I think is the best design. So I'll hold it up to the camera here a little bit. Um, so you can see it's got bumpers at the top, like normal. And then these triggers are lower down than on a normal controller, like they kind of slope there. But then these paddles what's great so you just hold it naturally and then you got the ergonomics like this is perfect this is so comfortable on the back anyway but you can't use it on a super nintendo so who cares all right i think so we're up 39 we were up 27 so that was a plus 12 lineup. So the best one was our second lineup. Which is Murdoch, Ruffin, King, Massenberg, and Miller. Regarding Tony, you mentioned earlier, he actually has been on a bit of a slide recently. Uh, he has regained the title of lowest plus minus average for the season on the roster. Shooting roughly. Had to let the dog out. Oh no! Did you catch the Steam Controller demo? Oh, no, you didn't. It was a trivia question. Uh, trivia question was, which Denver Nugget was the first to, to play all 82 games as a rookie? All right, next dead ball. I'll show you. Continuation of our uh, discussion from Saturday about controller ergonomics and whatnot. Mellow. <laughs> 
Right, the game just knew. I'm from the future and I brought that knowledge. Mello, of course, currently on the Blazers. Might explain our loss to them a few days ago. Go. Ruffin having a solid night from three. Oh. The Cavs figured out how to play defense. Fortunately for them, you can't stop that. He can't miss. Okay, maybe you can. It's bound to happen eventually. Oh, nice. Brandon shakes us. All these transition threes. And yes, it is 90 to 36. Oof. Good recovery by Murdoch. Nicely done. Time out. All right, while they're timing out, we grab the. Uh, you still there? Spitz. Maybe. Yeah, okay. So I don't know if you've ever seen one of these in real life. This is a steam controller. It's uh, The front of it is a bit of a mess, but the back is what we were talking about before. So, got these triggers here. Um, that are sloped down nicely and then there's these paddles on the back that these are actually buttons so You just hold it like this and it's super duper comfortable to hold It's great Other than you can't use it on a Super Nintendo But that's what you should have done. That's what Nintendo should have done back in the day when they were introducing buttons not on the face of the controller Never used the steam controller. It's so the analog stick on the front of it is useless. Um, it is 
clearly an afterthought uh, put on for marketing considerations because people didn't know what to do with it. Um, as a, it depends on what kind of games you're playing. Like as a replacement for a mouse and a keyboard, if you don't need too many functions, um, it works pretty well as a handheld trackpad. Uh, those uh, little touch pads there. Um, but for like traditional like precision platformer like scrolling shooter kind of games no way there we go oh nope i mean it's not bad um i think if you're the type of person who's going to have different controllers for different kinds of pc games it's worth spending a few bucks to pick one up it's x input too which is nice here we go wide open and that is 100 points for Trevor Ruffin. That bucket purchased for us by Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder. Thank you for your support. Actually, I'll let these guys finish the quarter, I guess. Well, let's see how it's right there. Yeah, they're pretty tired. Alright. Nice work, everyone. Go with Stoudemire. Murray. And Massenburg. And the Earl. Nice. Tony Massenberg, that bucket purchased for us by Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist. Thank you, Mr. Troy. Nice. Dish. Damon. Ugh. Hope we can hold the lead. All right, Spitzer Great saying, Mellow from the future. I went with Chris Jackson, Bamboo Abdul Raouf, Lafonso Ellis. All right. Neither of us reached back far enough. Could be the most lopsided victory yet, indeed. All right, we'll do a quick uh, triple-double check. Uh, Ruffin, I think, being a point guard by uh, trade might actually be in striking distance. 101 points. Seventeen rebounds. Three assists. So he needs seven assists this quarter. To record what I believe is our first triple double of the season and a right to keep his roster spot. All 
All right, off to a great start. There's a ton of rebounds, especially for a point guard. Oh. He gets a triple double, he should be a starter. Well, he does start sometime. There we go. Six more. At the end, the AI runs the clock out just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, it does seem that way. Heartbreaker with Massenburg. Well, I mean, you know, I suppose you could argue it would have been a heartbreaker to keep him on the team. There we go. I also like how I haven't taken a shot this quarter, and we're still extending our lead. Who was that? Damon? Double check the stats. Alright. We'll go this way. I think it might be faster. Five assists. I think that's right. However, uh, Stoudemire is sitting down. That is the second time this game. He was the one at the beginning, too. Unbelievable. Go Murdoch. Ruffin, of course. I don't know if we want King or Ellis. Probably Ellis. Pinkney, and Rogers. So we need five more assists in six and a half minutes. Can we do it? What it's not crediting me with is blocks. I am certain Ruffin has had more than one block shot tonight. Where was I with that rebound? Because I just wasn't lined up for it. Ugh. On the other hand, I'm also pretty sure we've turned the ball over more than six times. Man, we're only up by 59. Pinkney! Yes! Pinkney, no. Good hustle, Rogers. Oh, box! He's trying to make the AI shoot. Must have hit the pass button, too. Oh! 
Did you see that Pinkney went up for the alley <laughs> Oh boy. This is not this is not my lineup. They did okay earlier. They're not doing so okay now. Yeah, he thought it was his time to shine. Massenberg back in. And Oliver Miller. Indeed. It's more that I want to give Ruffin a fair shot at the triple double. There it is. Jimmy King. Nice and simple. John Crotty just runs right through me. Oliver Miller with the throw down. Was that Brad Doherty just launching a three for no reason? With like 15 seconds left on the shot clock? Weird. Somebody cut to the basket. I see you, Tony. I can't get it to you. Tony, why did you back away? You're a power forward. That was pretty. Antonio Lang. All right. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. Let's do a little check. Trying to get Trevor Ruffin to do a triple-double. Oh, that's not very nice. All right, he needs three more assists in the next two and a half minutes. There may be something in what you say. In real life, I'm sure he's a good dude. In this game, well, there's a reason we're shipping him to Philly. That was pretty. <laughs> it isn't mean if it's true. It can still be mean if it's true. Here we go. Fast break. Tony? <laughs> oh, goodness. You're right. They are running the clock out. Think we're gonna make it. Ugh. Not passing like that, we're not. Ugh.
You know you spent too much time with NBA Live 96 for the Super Nintendo when you score 100 points and get 17 rebounds with a point guard and you feel kind of let down at the end of your 60-point victory. I feel like there could have been something more. How far are we? Is it even worth trying? And not our largest margin of victory on the season, either. Not even close, actually. Let's see how he wound up. Eight assists. So just like Tony Massenberg, potentially going to be one Anyway, call timeout. There we go. So very close. Basically need to go into the fourth only being no more than four assists, steals, rebounds, whatever. Because yeah, slows everything down. We got eight, I think. I think he had one assist going into the fourth quarter. Not enough. Oh well. But did he? he only had one at the half. Maybe he had like two or three. No, he didn't have seven. Oh, three. Oh, okay. That could be. I'll take your word for it. I was playing, so. Hard to keep track of that level of detail. I mean, look at those shooting percentages for some of my team. Reality is, if any of those guys had made one of those shots that they missed, in some cases, wide open shots. Here are pretty anemic stats for the Cavaliers. You got six, but that was about as good as you could do. Needing six leaves you no room for error. Yeah, we certainly needed room for error. Fills with four steals, not too bad. None of them got a triple double either. Take solace in that. All right, so we'll do the quarter by quarter breakdown. Let's do in the first, 44 in the second. Let's do one third. Four is the sweet spot. You can do four. You need to lay off points earlier and start focusing on the other stats earlier. Well, sure, if we're just trying to get a triple-double, I thought that to stay on the team, they needed to score 100 while getting a triple-double. I thought that was the, the established route to earning your Canadian citizenship, as it were. And look at all these missed shots. Any one of those. Let's see here, let's check my breakdown by quarter, because now I'm curious. So I didn't take any shots in the fourth quarter, which means that we missed eight shots. So you were right, we got seven. Or either that or I didn't count one of them. So those are eight opportunities to get that last assist. Didn't pan out. And assists aren't always the other one. I mean, rebounds, points. 
usually a given. Uh, Massenburg, I think it was steals, wasn't it? He had nine steals. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, tomorrow night, as you saw, we have the Detroit Pistons. And then on Wednesday, we have the Jazz, and that is the trading deadline. So that's when the uh, roster moves really begin in earnest. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your evening or rest of your day if you're on YouTube.